Socially responsible investing. Can you invest according to your values and still make money? Can you be a good investor and still be able to sleep at night? In this video, we'll go over what socially responsible investing is, how to invest in a socially responsible manner, and whether or not socially responsible investing is the best way to have an impact with your money. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to have you back here with me. If it's your first time here, my name is Jay and on this channel I give you the tools, the tips, and the tactics that you need to get the most out of your money. Today we're talking about an issue that's been gaining a lot of steam lately and that's socially responsible investing. So what is socially responsible investing? Socially responsible investing is just what it sounds like. It's using your investment dollars to fund companies that are actively trying to make the world a better place or avoiding investing your money into companies that run unethically or do harm to the world in general. Back in the day, socially responsible investing simply meant avoiding sin stocks, which were mainly alcohol and tobacco companies. These days, as you can imagine, that definition has expanded greatly. Over the past couple of years, many large pension funds have been investing their money in a more socially responsible way, usually diverting their money from big oil companies or companies polluting the environment or just generally acting unethically. And it's a movement that's been picking up steam with individual investors like you and me too. Now we all want to make the world a better place, but that means something different to anyone you're going to ask. So how can we invest ethically and in a socially responsible way? Well, the easiest way to do that, if you're buying individual stocks, is to just not buy companies that don't align with your values. For instance, here in the US, we actually have for-profit prisons. Now, this is something I can't believe is actually legal or allowed, and I would never in a million years consider investing in one of these companies. Now, I voiced that opinion on an investing group I'm in on Facebook and immediately was barraged with a bunch of people calling me various derogatory terms and wondering if my mommy still tucks me in at night. So for other people, it may mean avoiding in companies that are big polluters, like the big oil companies. It may mean not investing in clothing companies that have a history of child labor violations. It may mean not, in, not investing in defense contractors that build the bombs and drones that kill innocent civilians all over the world. If you're a vegetarian or a vegan, you may not want to invest in food companies that are involved in meat production. To every individual person, we're all going to have our own values and investing socially responsibly is going to take on a slightly different meaning. Now, it's hard enough to keep track of the performance of all the stocks that are out there, let alone any dirt they may be hiding in their business operations. Thankfully, there's a little easier way to evaluate the social responsibility of any particular company, and that is their ESG rating. Now, MSCI, which is Morgan Stanley Capital International, gives companies an ESG rating, so they evaluate each company based on a number of environmental, social, and governance factors, ESG. And they give a company a score, which you can use to evaluate how socially responsible that company may be. Now, when you're doing your research on a company, a particular stock you may want to buy, if you go to Yahoo Finance, type in the ticker symbol of the company, we're going to use Lockheed Martin here, go over to the sustainability tab at the end, you can see the company's ESG rating and the things or industries they're involved in that may not be so responsible. So if you're buying individual stocks, you can just avoid companies you know operate in industries you don't agree with or don't represent the values you hold. You can use the ESG rating if you're a little unsure. Or thankfully, nowadays, there are a number of index funds and ETFs that are social responsible investing focused. Now Vanguard has ESGV, which is basically their VTI fund, but filtered for companies ESG score. So it takes out the worst performers of that. There are funds and ETFs directly focused on investing in just green energy companies and things like that. So whatever social responsible investing may mean to you, 
These days, there is probably a fund or an ETF out there that focuses on investing just in those companies. So by investing in stocks with a good ESG score, or investing in funds or ETFs that are socially responsible focused, is a way we can be sure we're investing more responsibly and ethically. But that leads us to the question, is social responsible investing the best way that we can have an impact on the world with our money? And in my opinion, the answer to that is no. If you really want to have an impact on the world around you with your money, the best way to do that is through your consumer dollars, what you spend your money on in your life. That's a far more impactful way to send a message and show your values with your money than with your investments. So climate change is reaching the point of no return. So if I'm worried about that, instead of maybe avoiding ExxonMobil or BP with my investment dollars, I can buy an electric vehicle instead of a huge pickup truck. Or I can put solar panels on my house instead of investing in that solar company. Instead of buying that diamond engagement ring and contributing to the human rights violations in the diamond industry, you can propose with a different kind of stone that's maybe more ethically sourced. The point is, your consumer dollars, the dollars you spend every day, have a much stronger impact on a company's bottom line than your investment dollars do. So if you're just a true believer in the mission of Tesla and you think everyone needs to be driving electric cars, you're probably better off buying a Tesla automobile or an electric car to send that message than you are buying shares of the stock. And the more people that do that, the stronger the signal it sends to companies that they need to follow that lead. That's where they need to go because that's where the money is. You see, running up shares of Tesla stock to thousands of dollars per share doesn't send a signal to all the other auto manufacturers that, hey, we really need to step up our EV game because that's what the people want. But if all the people stop buying huge pickup trucks and gasoline cars and they start buying those electric vehicles, then all those other automakers are gonna be like, hey, that's where we need to go, that's where the money is, and that's how you're gonna get the change you wanna see. So what do you think about socially responsible investing? Is it something you've tried to do with your everyday spending or your investments? Is it something you're gonna look into in the future? Leave me a comment below, let me know what you think about it. Another socially responsible action you can take is to hit the like button down below on this video it tells YouTube other people should see this video and it helps out the channel a lot and I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos that come out on Tuesday and Friday of every week. And that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next video. Then we roll the intro. Okay.